Go. Hello everyone and welcome back to another glorious episode. What do you mean of... welcome back? It's the first episode. No, we had the introduction. Well, it it's counts. The first of this playthrough. It counts. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know what I'm in the mood for? What are you in the mood for? A DK rap. What is this? Uh, this is the introduction to the game. Hello everybody, I'm Drew Dynamite, and this is Jason, and we're playing Donkey Kong 64. No, you're playing. I'm watching. You're playing in spirit. I am playing in spirit. So, just so the audience knows that you're... To anyone who has not played Donkey Kong 64, you're taking this journey with me. To kick some tail. Oh my god. He actually has a coconut gun. Yeah, they all have guns. There are guns in this game. Reminds me of uh, Banjo Tooie, where in uh, there are some levels where you go into first person mode and you whip out Kazooie like a shotgun and you fire all the different color eggs. Yeah. Well, it's made by the same people. Rare. I know, but oh my god, I miss Rare. I'm so I'm so sad they got bought up. I don't remember who they got bought up on. I think it was Microsoft. Microsoft bought them. Yeah. I, yo, I want that sequel to Conquer. I never played Conquer. Oh, it's it's so good. It's so it's terribly funny, but like in the best way possible. So, this is actually my favorite single player N64 game. Oh yeah? Yeah. You wanna know what mine is? Ocarina of Time? <laughs> You're goddamn right it is! Yeah. We're gonna play that one of these days. Yeah. This is a long rap, by the way. This is a long rap. Yeah. Might wanna extend the episode. <laughs> yeah. What is it, introducing all the characters you play? Yep. This time. You know, I like the Super Smash Brothers remix better. Oh yeah, that wasn't that game. It, in Melee, right? I think it was in both games. No, 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 yeah, you're right, it was not Melee. It was really good in Melee. So, what, what, what's your first, I, I'm curious, what's your first impression so far? Um, honestly, I feel like this is the predecessor to, to, uh, uh, Guitar Hero. Like, I feel like this is a game about music, not a game about fighting. Or adventure. Like, that, that's honestly what I think. Yeah. I loved this song when I was a kid. He's... The guy who's singing it, though, sounds like... He's not even into it. He sounds like... I'm doing this for a paycheck and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, it's the rave! Fucking apple smells. Grapes, melons, oranges, and coconut shells. Oh yeah! We need Lil Wayne for this. Oh, uh, we don't have Lil Wayne. Uh, I don't think I don't think he's in our budget. No, no he's not. Alright, it's over. Oh, thank god. Okay. <laughs> Finally. Just, uh, you know, I want uh, the viewers to have the full DK64 experience. All right, time for adventure. Is the orange uh, a what? Life? It, like it showed bananas and one orange. Is the orange like? It, it's what you use to erase games. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, they, they should have coated it with different fucking things. Anyway, here we are. All right, let's check it out. Is there voices? I, yeah, there's voices. Like voiceovers, I mean. Yeah, voiceovers. Oh, okay, cool. For, for um, I, I think only for the intro. Oh. oh. I think for the rest of the game, it's just text. Okay. Whatever. And like occasional noises from the characters. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not, not those noises. That's Link when he fights. Well, I never played Legend of Zelda. Well, that's all he does is he grunts. Well, I mean, I, I kind of knew that from uh, Smash Bros. That That's the only Zelda-related game I ever played, Smash so, Bros. technically, he's played nothing related to Zelda. Pretty much. That's Donkey Kong Island, by the way. Oh, no. It's not like it's in the shape of his face. 
I wonder how they did that. Like, it's definitely not a natural rock formation. I'll well, tell maybe you that it one. is. Maybe it was destiny. Maybe. You, did you ever see the Donkey Kong um, cartoon? No. Um, I know they changed the color of something. Actually, you know what? I might have seen the cartoon. It was like kind of like 3D. Yeah. Like a, a terrible version of modern uh, yeah. 3D art. And that's the Kremlin ship, by the way. Kremlin? Or are they gators? Yeah, they're crocodiles, gator people oh, okay. that hate the Kongs. Why? Uh, I don't know the official canon. Like, like they're always going around stealing um, Donkey Kong's bananas. Donkey Kong's banana horde, and I don't understand why. Well, they should have established and why. This is sort of like a James Bond parody. Oh yeah, the, the slow, quickly clap of the arm. Oh look, Mr. Bigglesworth. Since Donkey Kong and his pretty little island will be no more. That's the big bad guy, King K. Rule. K. Rule. King Calorie, more like it. Oh! <laughs> have you ever um played? Have you ever played any Donkey Kong game? Um, in the same way you've played no Legend of Zelda games, such as me. So just Smash Bros. So just Smash Bros. Yes. Mm. Uh, yeah. They should really uh, double check their equipment there. Uh, you, you, you're about to see. You're about to see. Oh my God! What is happening right now? They got shitty pilots. That's what they got. Or captains. Uh, I, don't, I don't fucking know. The people driving the ship suck. They they really do. And they just crash into a rock. Oh my god, they're, they're turning the engine. Beep, beep, beep. Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> Backing up. In the ocean. Backing up. In the ocean. Backing up. In the ocean. Backing up. The Not a car. Well, you backed up. Wait, what's that? What? What's what? What's the little dome thing? Oh, you'll find out. Oh, I'll find out. You will find out. I'll find out. Yeah, so the ship's not moving, and initially they were going to blow up the island, but because of that crash, uh, everything's uh, everything's like fucked up. So, okay. God. Yeah. Here comes badass. This is a long intro. It is a long intro. <laughs> I want you to do everything in your power to keep Donkey Kong distracted. Steal that hoard of golden bananas he treasures so much, and take care of his pathetic friends. This time there can be no mistakes. He just eats an orange grenade. Oh, your excellency, we've already taken care of business. <laughs> oh no, they have our friends. Wow, they have everyone except For Donkey Kong. Yeah. You're right this time. And all no. 201 of his bananas. While you'll be busy looking for your precious golden bananas, I'll be preparing my lizard okay. favorite supplies. Okay, look at like what a boss he is. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, his grunting can't sounds you, like he's. Can't you do one ha one hand push-ups? I can, but look, he's doing it like with just his hands. That's crazy. Read. <laughs> Decay! Decay! Come quickly! Oh, wow. So even when you're not skipping the dialogue, it's skipping it for me. <laughs> this game was meant for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, you were dilly-dallying and... Well, I mean, I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be a voiceover. Yeah. Well, not that part. Oh, well. All right. Yeah, so this is Donkey Kong's crib. Uh, Who the... Who's that hot mama? That's Candy Kong. Is that his girlfriend? Yep. Do you actually see her in the game? Yes, you do. But you don't get to play her? No. Okay. Well, she's a hot mama. Yep. <laughs> no wonder why DK wants to save his island. Whoop. Slipping on bananas. Yeah, so nice crib, but um, you will never come back here. Well, you, you never have to come back here for the game. Oh, okay. You know what's weird is that, like, animal video games, they'll make, like, the females wear clothes, but then they'll make the dudes naked, and it's like, where does that make sense? Yeah. Like Sonic. Like Sonic, he's he's naked all the time. He just wears shoes, but Amy wears a blouse. So And it's like, so what makes her so special? Squawks! 
Your precious banana horn and all the other cars have vanished. I can't find them anywhere. DK, you'd better go and tell Cranky the bad news. What? Down so everyone calls him DK, but his real name is Donkey Kong. DK stands for Donkey Kong. It, it's a nickname. Why don't they just call him Kong or Donkey? Why is he a donkey anyway? I th there's a reason for that, and um, I'll explain that later. Anyway, this is Cranky's lab. Okay. And uh, this is where we're gonna make our first stop. You know, making everything out it's... of bananas and steel mm -hmm. and wood. They're pretty sophisticated. Well, if it isn't my lazy, good-for-nothing, nothing son! Lost your golden bananas again? And where might your flea-bitten friends be? <laughs> it's oh, a wait, slow so text. It's not, it's not his family? You don't know, do you? I'd have thought you would be able to s smell the work of a reptile by now. L luckily for you, old Cranky's bit. I, I, I read that as bitch. Batch of homemade <laughs> potions will give you all the skills you need. I don't know what fucking voice I'm doing now. Skills you need for your silly 3D quest. He breaks the fourth wall a lot, by the way. But you're not having not any until you've completed my training barrels. Now buzz off and come back when you've done them all. Is that better? You want me to do the voice? No, I, I got it. There's a... I, I sort of have the voices in mind. Okay. What did Cranky mean about training? Donkey all confused. He calls himself Donkey in this game. Oh yeah? But like in the cartoon and usually and usually like all, most other media, like they, they just call him DK. Oh, okay. So like... I, I wonder if he's related to Dunkley. It, it sort of suggested that um, it like the Kong family is like a clan. So they're not related by blood. They're just like some of them are. Well, some obviously of them are not. Cranky and Kong are. Yeah. But it's like I guess no one else is. Anyway, these are the training barrels, and it teaches you how to play the game. Squawk! Press Z to dive underwater, then press hold A or B to swim the, at different speeds. Pressing Z will. You know, you know how to play this game. Why do you have to read that? I don't know. Just. Gotta do something to pass the time. Why? Like, why is it? Why is it that all like Nintendo games or almost all like adventure games like this, they all incorporated swimming? I always fucking hated swimming, especially in Banjo Kazooie. I hated the beach level where it's like, there's a fucking shark out there. So if you stay in the water too long, he's gonna get you. And it's like, well, fuck, man, I don't want to get eaten by no shark. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother reading. I know how to swing th from vines <clears throat> and shit. Yeah. <sighs> Climbing up the tree, climbing up the tree, and huh, we're swinging. Oh my god, look at that. Perfectly executed. One, yeah. two, three. You should have gotten a little, little gamer score. Should have popped up in the bottom and it should have said, boom, achievement unlocked. Mm. It does a good job at, um, like, introducing you into the mechanics. Kind of like uh, Super Mario 64. Okay. Okay, here I just got to pick up the barrels and throw them. Yeah, except with Super Mario 64, you want me to read the voices, and uh, then you just skip it, and I just fucking hate you for all eternity. <laughs> I can't wait till we play a game where you, where there are no subtitles, like you mandatory have to listen, or subtitles you put subtitles on, because then I'll be like, we're not skipping this, we're watching this shit. <sighs> Actually, for that matter, I don't want to skip Kingdom Hearts because it's been a long time and I need a refresher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so these are orange grenades. They're, they're oranges that explode like okay. grenades. Hence the name orange But you grenades. can also eat them, but then they explode in your body. Well, I mean, the, that fat Kremlin can. Uh, uh, I, I wouldn't try that at home. Probably not, no. No. You, you... Typically, you just eat an orange, and it's usually a regular uh, orange. This game is really... In case you ca couldn't notice this... If you haven't noticed, this game is pretty slow in the beginning. Yeah, it feels slow. Like, Mar Super Mario 64, they just go straight into it, but... The reason why it's my favorite is because of, like, th that nostalgia feel, mostly. 
Yeah, but... It gets more fun later on. Yeah, but the nostalgia feels created by experiencing something that you experienced a long time ago, but you enjoyed whatever you experienced. So, if the beginning is slow, it's obviously the rest of the game that you enjoy. Huh? You took your sweet-ass time, donkey! <laughs> Jungle Rust set in, did it? Here, drink this shit, it's good for you. Just don't ask any questions! Simeon Slam, Buttus Bashium. What, are they trying to be like Latin or something like that with it? Yeah. Well... It, it, it's a ground pound. Oh, okay. Right! You and your missing buddies will be able to slam your asses on the ground by pressing A to jump and then Z whilst in the air. It should Just get like you out of this area. Oh, one more thing. I've got a real treat for you, but only if you bring me 15 banana medals. I think they look like this. I'll see you later if you're lucky. I think they look like this. And then he begins to describe it, but because... Because in the interest of time, it just shows a picture. But can you imagine him actually saying it? It has a gold outside with a golden banana inside. Mm. Yeah. So this game is a huge collectathon. You have to collect the banana medals, the, the golden bananas, the keys, uh, the banana fairies. There are banana fairies in this game? You, yeah, yeah. Get we'll, the fuck out. We'll get to them. Get and the see, fuck look, out. look, my bananas are gone. Oh no! Oh, by the way, uh, this thing, um, you, you unlock a special technique after you find the banana fairy queen, and um, which grants you an ability that be able to get rid of this dirt, which will give you each, which will give you this rainbow coin that gives each Kong five coins. You know, this game feels exactly like Legend of Zelda, except. With people, not monkeys. And the graphics are slightly improved. Is, did this come out before or after Zelda? Um, you know what? Let me find out. Do, 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 do. Okay, so this here button, uh, this is what uh, I got the potion for. I'm now able to ground pound and push the button. And now it opens the gate. Excellent. Mario didn't need a potion to do that, and I don't understand why DK does. Um, it came out 1999, actually. Mm. Squawk, he's back, DK. King Carol's Island is just over there. He must be the one who stole your bananas and kidnapped the other Kongs. I've taken a quick look around, but the only area that hasn't been blocked off that I is a cave over there. Brock! Interesting. Um... Legends of the Ocarina of Time came out a year beforehand and a day beforehand. Literally a year and a day beforehand. Find a similar numbered pad in the area of banana port between the t Yeah, so what these are, um, when you touch them, they light up and you can teleport to that same number that's in the same level. Like, there's a one over here, there's a one over there on that little, uh, island dome thing. Yeah. Yeah. Are those the levels? No. They, they, they're, they're banana port pads. And this is a uh, tag barrel, which is what you use to switch Kongs. But since I only have Donkey Kong, uh, there's, no else, there's no can one else. There's no one else. Can we swim? Uh, yes. Out yeah. here. Oh, yeah, okay. we can swim. And and also, unlike um, Mario, uh, D Donkey Kong can apparently breathe underwater. Forever. Forever. Wow, he must be. He must have like 16 lungs. Have you seen how like his push-ups like that he does with no hands? That's like, true. With, with no with no hands with no feet. Yeah, he he probably is. I mean, you probably can't see it on this, like, you know, uh, Nintendo model, but he's probably okay. jacked as hell. Who or what is that? This is, uh, I forgot his name. Uh, Gl Clumsy? K-Lumsy? boo k Lumsy. Oh, hi, my name's k Lumsy, and I've been locked in here because I wouldn't smash up some little island. How could I? Such a lovely little island full of cute little monkeys. So I said no! <sighs> That's... K. Rool says I'm too soft to be a crumbling, and I'm too, and I'm to stay in here until I've toughened up. Sob. I'll do anything to be free again. Anything. Wink. Um, <laughs> I don't think Donkey Kong would survive. <laughs> hey, little monkey. Perhaps you can help poor old K. Lumsy escape. Oh, go on. I'll be your f bestest friend. Dot. 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 But remember, anything. Yes, Donkey will help K. Lumsy. 
I think those are the only times Donkey Kong like talks. Oh, wow. That time and the other time when he exited uh, <laughs> uh, Cranky's lab. Aside from that, he just never- Like, like all protagonists in Nintendo games, they're the strong silent type. <clears throat> yeah. And now when he's bouncing around, uh, since we made him happy, now that place is unlocked and there's a golden banana. Oh, excelente. Oh, K. Lumsy, so happy now. But K. Rule has taken the keys to this cage and given them to the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army. If you manage to hold to get holds of any keys, please bring them back here to open my locks. Don't tell K. Rule though. This has to be our little secret. And remember, anything. Wink. Wink. I. He wouldn't survive. Anyway, this is the, the, the banana port. Oh, okay. So that's how it works. Yep. So, uh, Andrew, you, you know uh, you know what time it is. What time is that? It's time to end, end the episode. <gasps> yeah. yeah. But first... Bitch slap! Did, did he just drop a watermelon? Yes, he did. That's... That's health. And now it's gone. Help. Okay. See you next time. Yep. See you next time, everyone.